Of course, tossing it out has become a problem in itself. It's estimated that up to 40% of food produced here goes right in the trash. You see anything wrong with this? No. It's actually, I'd call it a pretty close to perfect eggplant. I'm not gonna take any of this because it's white bread. You can be that picky? Oh yes, I can be as picky as anybody else. And Janet Kalish can afford to be. There's a huge beat. You can't beat it. Uh, this is She's no vagrant. Kalish is a New York City high school yeah, teacher who got fed up with seeing supermarkets toss out good food. So for the past eight years, she's been doing her shopping on the streets. 90% of what I eat is rescued food. It's food that comes from the garbage. That's right. And the pickings are anything but slim. You'll be impressed, I think, with these loaves. Oh my goodness. <laughs> There's nothing wrong with this. It's actually still warm. No. Even in a down economy, food is apparently still cheap and plentiful enough to waste. According to the Natural Resources Defense Council, Americans throw away $165 billion worth of food every year. That's about 20 pounds per person every month. And then there's the food that doesn't even make it to stores or homes. On farms across the country, tons of perfectly good produce is routinely plowed under. There are a number of reasons why crops are left in the field, but most often it's just that the farmer is a victim of his or her own success. They grow just a little bit too much, or sometimes it grows just too big for the box. There's a bunch left over here even. Christy Porter runs Hidden Harvest in California's Coachella Valley. Her workers pick through harvested fields to salvage what's left over before the plows catch up with them. Many times we've eaten dirt. Uh, behind the plow in order to get the produce harvested. The rescued veggies are given away to local communities, like this retirement village, where they wait in line for food that otherwise would have gone to waste. Okay, okay, green beans just picked this morning. And this recovery effort is really small potatoes, so to speak, compared to this one. The top shelf is two points, everything else is one point. Figs are free. At Loaves and Fishes in Naperville, Illinois, 75% of everything you see here was destined for the dumpster. Now it's free for the needy. This is uh, a good alternative to not eating. <laughs> We're the, in the richest county in Illinois, and yet one in five kids will go hungry sometime this year. Pete Schaefer runs the Northern Illinois Food Bank. He makes deals with businesses like the Illinois supermarket chain Jewel Osco to donate less than perfect food instead of pitching it. How much of a difference does a bruised banana, a pepper that doesn't look so good, make in the life of somebody who is trying to put food on the table? Well, if that's the only fruit or vegetable you'll see that week, believe me, you're not looking at the bruise. You're looking at a little piece from heaven right there. Last year alone, Jewel Osco gave away more than 7.6 million pounds. Instead of this going to landfill, that this goes to hungry neighbors, we can solve it. You honestly think we can solve it? Absolutely. We can absolutely. There's not a shortage of food in Illinois or America. There's not a, f a shortage of, of funds. It's just bringing the community together, getting them focused on the issue, and igniting them and uh, we can solve it. Happy Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving. See you. So think about this while you're wrestling over the wishbone. In a world where just about everything's disposable, some things Thanks. may be worth saving. Nice, huh?